Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card for the week. So what do we have please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aquarius, thank you, for the week. Okay, so the message is remain positive. Okay, message for Aquarius, please, Angel Spirits Guides, 19th to the 25th of April, 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards, you know, by now we always do. Then we clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, Aquarius, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you for the week. I'm just moving these cards over. Okay, message for Aquarius. Okay, Nine of Swords, but I, I quite like it reversed because it means that you're coming out of that period. Eight of Cups and the Lovers. So what do we have for Aquarius, please, Angels, Spirits, Guides? Message for Aquarius, please, angels, spirits, guides, for the week. Message for Aquarius for the week. What does Aquarius need to hear the most? Thank you. Can we clarify these cards on the table? 19th to the 25th. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. The world. And the Lovers, we have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Hermit. Um, Aquarius, generally when it's upright, the Nine of Swords can be about stress, anxiety, worry, and not understanding how you want to move forward to this new beginning. You know, it, you know, generally the Ace of Pentacles, uh, Pentacles can be about moving, relocating, career, financial opportunity. can also be to do with manifesting a new path in your physical reality. So physical taking steps towards a new path. The Nine of Swords reversed, however, is where you, generally where there's been stress, anxiety, worry, you're releasing from that. You might be keeping something to yourself as well, potentially here. But it feels like things are becoming clear in how you want to move forward and where you see a new beginning, big, a new beginning unfolding. And that's what I'm feeling. It feels like you're just in the process or that, that, that process of dealing with something. Because, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is, is about a new beginning. You know, it is in your conscious reality. So some of you might be looking to move home, relocate, you know, it could be, you know, offers on properties that you're making. It can be to do with, obviously, it can be to do with money, career, financial areas as well. Some kind of, you know, you know, new career financial opportunity for you. It can be both. But it's definitely an energy of I'm getting clarity, having gone through a lot of stress, anxiety, worry in terms of which way I'm going to go. So it feels for some of you, you're getting clarity on how you need to move forward. Now, the Eight of Cups. There's a number of meanings to the tarot cards, you know. Yes, this can be about saying goodbye to somebody, walking away. Um, this can be you walking away from somebody, then walking away from you. And certainly with the lovers here, with the Ten of Swords, it feels like someone's making up their mind in how to bring what has been a stressful and probably painful situation to a close. But, you know, this can also be about emotionally moving on as well. You know, being ready to emotionally just move on and close the door in a situation. The World card is completion the completion of a big cycle 
and we have slowly but surely this new beginning forming, being in the process to step through to a new phase of your life and focus on that new beginning. And that's what I feel you're doing here. You know, the world card is an empowering energy. So I'm, I'm definitely getting where you may have been in your own head for a period of time. All of a sudden there is this kind of like this clarity and maybe this decision or choice that you're making. It feels to do with matters of the heart here on which way you want to go and how you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Having, you know, this is a victorious card. It's a card of, of having been tested in both good and bad ways, how you've grown, how you've learnt from experience on that journey, but you're not going to be held hostage to that experience anymore. You're breaking free, you're stepping through to a new phase of your life. Yeah, there's been healing, introspection, but you know, the Hermit is also, for me as a reader, a card of going within, finding those clear answers from within on how to take action or to make some judgment call in your external environment. And that's what's guiding the lovers, the choice. You know, you're finding that inner direction on how you need to align and take direction. Card of alignment, the eight of cups in your external environment. And remember the eight of cups walks towards the nine of cups, the wish coming true. You know, um, they want more, they want their heart's desire, they want something that's fulfilling. Uh, you know, so it definitely feels in this energy um, the lovers is, it feels to do with a choice in love because, you know, the Ten of Swords is a card of, it is an ending, it is a completion, but this is somebody who has been betrayed, hurt, loss as well, um, stabbed in the back, call it what you will. Uh, but there's definitely an energy of making some clear judgment call in it feels in this situation choosing to turn your back on something that doesn't serve you anymore and walking towards the value. What is the value in your life that does? What is going to bring new value in your life? Yeah, powerful reading for somebody though, Aquarius, but it feels like there is some kind of uh, yeah, it's interesting. You know, I pre-shuffle these cards before every reading. And again, with this Hermit card, finding those answers, and I've got wisdom at the bottom of this deck. You know, have you ever heard, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. I feel you're finding the answer. You're finding some kind of answer and resolution that you seek to move on from a situation that doesn't serve you anymore. And this is a beautiful new beginning ahead for some of you. It's also a helping hand. I will also say you're being given, you know, the, the source, the star in there. You know, you can see that star energy in there. You're being guided, you know, in that dark place where the hermit sits within us, it's inner direction, inner wisdom. There is the source, source, angel, spirits, guides, God, the universe, the divine, lighting us up, giving us the answer, giving us the wisdom, the knowledge, the guidance with the hermit. It's the connection to source. And again, this helping hand energy is definitely an energy of you are being helped along here. So I have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. You know, pentacles energy is all about our conscious reality. So it is to do with our relationships. It's to do with our money and career, our home, our property and our health. So again, I feel for some of you, you might be wanting to focus on you again in your health. Yeah, and I've got inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Yeah, I, I definitely feel for some of you, there is an ending here. There is a completion, but there is a shiny new beginning that you're heading towards. And there's a feeling of release, a release of the stress and the worry and the anxiety finally that I can feel in this reading, you know, and aligning to where you need to be now. So it feels very, very beautiful indeed. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.